What's going on YouTube, it's Jaffe Exotics. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys my new incubator I got from Cornell's World. I would say it's one of the top of the lines in Canada, that is, but I really like the way it looks. I've seen a couple from Billy's and also from Elias. He has a nice one, so I thought I should get one. I was gonna do a video on me creating one, but I didn't have a big enough cooler, so I figured might as well spend the extra couple hundred and just buy a professional one. That way, this also has a glass door. That way you can see inside and therefore I can see when babies are hatching, etc, etc. So let's get ready into cleaning it. I just got it, so let's check it out. You guys can see the incubator. It's nice, real nice. The build is nice. Heat tape at the bottom, heat tape on this back. You got a fan at the top. You got the plug-in right there, just so that now at the back, it's only one plug-in versus two. So we got the Herbstat intro. It could be the plus, but I doubt it. Either way, this is a good one. Real nice build. I will be cleaning it and then I'll be putting in the plexiglass and setting up the probe. Let's get into it. I got it all set up. I took out the thermostat probe. I got it mounted out to the top. That way there's no wires running around and it's just sitting right in the middle, right there. That way when there are clutches, you get, you get six 14 quart tubs or you can do nine six quarts. So that way this is directly, roughly in the middle, but you can get an accurate temperature and I'll take off the glass and put it on. All right, so we got it cleaned. I'm gonna have to use my vacuum just to clean up the small fibers, but for what it is, it's clean. Now I'm gonna get the glass. All right, so we got the first one. Now I'm gonna need the other one. Okay. Really nice. I'm gonna have to put the door handles on. That way you can slide it open and close. But at the same time, it still closes all the way. Really nicely built. I will be cleaning it a bit more with the vacuum, like I mentioned before, maybe sanitizing it a bit more. There is some small fibers, but it's not a big deal, but I like to have my stuff kind of clean. So I'll do that. And then uh, maybe in the future, I might even uh, lace it up with some LED lights. That way in the night or whenever I just want to take a peek, I can just turn them on. That way you can see inside. But yeah, other than that, I'm gonna do a review on this. I'm gonna get a uh, either a sensor push or ink bird. Um, it's a temperature reader, so you just place it in there. I'm gonna put it in different spots. That way I can set it up for a week. That way I can see how good of an incubator this is. And for what I've seen, it's pretty good, but obviously doing your own testing, you'll see how it works. Other than that, comment rate subscribe let me know what kind of incubators you guys have back in the day i had a mini fridge that i gutted it and uh, fixed it up with all this different uh, equipment like a fan a heat tape and of course a thermostat that was a small incubator so it only held i think at most i've had two or three inside of there so this at least is more of an industrial it's good for now so for what it is i'm happy with it it came in within a month so if you got some clutches <laughs> expecting within a month, you better order it now. But other than that, I'll see you guys on next week's video. Peace.